The biggest thing that I can see for landowners to help in climate change response is to know their forest. We're going to visit three different stands from the point of view of assessing their risk associated with projected climate change. Yeah, so this is red spruce. It is not predicted to do well in the next hundred years. Trying to manage your woodlot in the way that we used to manage it isn't necessarily going to bring the best return to them at this point. Si je pouvais communiquer quelque chose aux propriétaires de Boisé, je leur dirais qu'ils sont extrêmement privilégiés d'être dans cette région-là du monde parce que c'est probablement une des régions qui a les meilleurs outils pour s'adapter au changement climatique. If a landowner wants to manage their forest towards climate change adaptation, they need to know what they have. Where do they live? What kind of forest is it? What kind of sites do they have to work with? What kind of species do they have to work with? I think there is a lot of people who are starting to view things differently and realizing that you've got these heavy rains coming in the spring. You know, roots are being washed away. We're getting more runoff than we really expected. The summer drought. How many years in this in a row that there's been summer drought in this part of New Brunswick? Too many. Four or five in a row? Yeah. See, there's balsam fir everywhere. Certainly, the science that I'm aware of would suggest that the climate is going to become less and less favorable for spruce and fir. So industry is also going to have to change. We have everything based on softwood. Maintenant, ce qui reste à faire, c'est de passer de cette connaissance scientifique à une application et une diffusion de cette connaissance-là dans les propriétaires de bois. For those of us that believe in, in growing wood and cutting wood, you know, as a renewable, sustainable resource. White pine and red oak are two of the superhero trees of our region in the, in the emerging climate. One thing I really noticed about talking to landowners is sometimes they're just not aware of the options that are available to help them manage their land. So il faut être proactif pour minimiser les impacts dans le futur. I think that we owe it to future generations to try and minimize the negative impacts on the things that we value from the forest. Interesting times coming. Mm -hmm. It's not your grandfather's forest. No. <laughs> <laughs>